crunch your muscles. I create video tutorials here on Facebook, YouTube, and my own website, movewithcassie.com. My husband and I also have a fitness center in Spring Green, Wisconsin, where we work with hundreds of people, just like yourself, who want to stay fit, pain-free, and keep doing what they love. Through my work with people every day, I've discovered many of our typical aches and pains can be dealt with with simple and effective movement. And here's a secret, aging well is possible. Before we begin, let me know where you're joining us from and take a moment to invite a friend. For today's class, self-massage for the face and neck, you'll need a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball. I like the way the rubber on the lacrosse ball, actually this is, usually those are blue, this is pink, but um, I like the way the rubber will stick to your skin a little bit more and help stimulate the tissues and fascia beneath your skin. So be, um, we'll begin seated and then we'll be moving down to the floor for some mobility work. This is a bit different from what we normally do, but I really think you're going to enjoy it. All right, so we are going to do most of the class in a chair. I feel like I was just a little bit close. Um, and I think I'm going to use this today. So sit up nice and tall and get to the edge of your seat. All right, and we'll just start with the right side of the face. All right, I'd like you guys, um, First of all, just to do a little circle with your head and neck. And I'll say that again about which side of the face we're going to start on. Lift your chin, drop your head. So this is all about the face and neck today, but we'll be doing a few other spots because it's a nice long class. And I think you'll see that these tennis balls or lacrosse balls um, are just a really great tool. All right, turn and lift and we'll do the other side real good all right so um, I'm gonna start on this side so this would be your left side so why don't you guys just turn just a little bit and enjoy a nice stretch right through here and then take the take your tennis ball and just roll it in the palm of your hand right over the ridge right here on your shoulder, okay? Over and back. Enjoy the, the spots like over your bones uh, real softly, but that's why a tennis ball is really good. And then go around a little bit as far as you can reach. I'm just rolling it between the palm of my hand and my traps in the neck. Good. Working closer and to your head and your jaw. Okay, inhale, exhale, rolling it across the neck, working a little lower across your trapezoid and the top of your shoulder. You can switch hands. Okay, we're still just working across. And you can turn your face and start looking towards this shoulder. And then a little circle right over the top of your shoulder right on this bone here on the end cap. Only you don't need a lot of pressure. All right, now let's start to roll from here towards the base of your neck, all right? And you can probably only work in small ranges because, you know, your hand is only so wide. And then you'll scoot it up a little higher Switch hands when you need to. Once again, now we're going up and down. And then do some circles. Just get creative. Go as slow as you need to to control the ball. And if you've got a certain spot that really is responding, take your time with it. Okay, I'm still doing some circles far as you can reach. All right. Now, I'm going to put it in this left hand, okay, your left hand, and just where your neck meets your shoulder, let's just do a couple little twists, okay? Move it, find another spot, okay? 
and another little spot. I'm twisting the skin a little bit and it feels good. Don't forget to breathe. And then right up at this point of your jaw, at the very end of your jaw, do a little push, a little twist, and then rotate the ball right around that bony point. Find the spots that need a little extra and enjoy it. Inhale, exhale. All right, and now let's roll it along your jaw. Okay. You can turn your face into your hand if that helps. Just experiment. And now work little circles from this bony end of your jaw towards your chin. Good, right at the front. And now roll up and down across your chin. And then start working your way rolling up and down across the jawbone. Good. Hopefully you've got a clean ball. It's not something you've been playing fetch with your dog. <laughs> that would be gross. <laughs> All right, and let's start working on the other side, okay? Inhale, exhale, roll it down with your shoulders, lift, press it down. And we'll start looking over the side of the chair and use your right hand and we'll start working our way across, across the ridge of your shoulder and your trapezoid, okay? Across. And if it feels a little awkward at first, you'll get better at it. Looking across. Go in small motions as you need to. And don't forget to go at your own pace. Let's start working across the neck. All right, a little to the front and then working around the back. Getting closer to your jaw. Really, really feels good. Right up under the skull, doesn't it? If you guys are enjoying this, feel free to hit a little smiley face. Let me know if this makes sense or not. I'm working my way back down. If you're new here, take a moment and introduce yourself. Let us know where you're from. Okay. All right, I'm gonna switch hands and start doing some circles right around the bones, right around here. And it doesn't take a lot of pressure. It really just feels good. You might find some, once again, you might find some spots that you want to linger on a little bit, by all means. So I'm putting a little bit more pressure down through the ball, right through the back. Right about there, I've got a little knot. Okay. All right. This is feeling great. Just hit one of those smiley faces if you're if you can I'm about to drool this just feels really really good <laughs> all right keep it going all right now let's remember switch whatever hand you want working back up to the neck and around this bony point of your jaw the point of your jaw a little circle oops Try not to slouch too much. Try to sit nice and tall on the edge of your seat. And we'll cross the bone of your jaw. So if you know anybody that would benefit from these classes, you know you can invite them. After the classes are over, the rebroadcast stays. And you can invite somebody to watch can share it to your own news feed, which is really important. All 
right, now I'm going a little further across the back of the neck. If you know anybody that works on a computer all day, they'll really benefit from these. I'm going to turn just so you can see. I'm just rolling it across the back of my neck, letting my head fall forward a little bit. Gently across those spine bones. And then up. Okay. Roll it up and down and a little circle, real soft, only as much as it feels good. Let's go to one side, across, and down the other. This is a little bit of a shoulder stretch for you too. All right, I'm working my way down your left side again, a little bit more towards the back of the shoulder, and across the front, okay? Now let's start working a little bit more up above your jaw, okay? Just above the jaw bone between your ear. There's this tender spot in here with all these muscles that join your jaw to your skull. Take a little bit and circle right in that spot. A little twist. A little push and towards your mouth and back above kind of right in front of your ear above your along your cheekbone towards your mouth inhale exhale and a little twist and then up and down over the cheekbone a little forward towards the nose across the cheekbone and up towards the temple. Down, just follow those bony ridges. You'll have spots that'll really feel good. Let's go over to the other side. So just above the point of your jaw and where your cheekbone is, okay? So just a little small circle, breathing in and out and then a few, continue to do the circles closer towards your mouth and then across your cheekbone working back up towards the temple good all right spend a little time wherever you need to Inhale, exhale, working a little higher now towards the temple. All right, little circles. Good. And now let's go across above your brow. Maybe little circles right on your eyebrow, wherever those tight, tender spots are. Are you discovering spots that you didn't even know were tight or sore? Let's go across the other eyebrow and then little circles between your eyebrow and your temple. Hopefully you're not struggling hanging on to the ball. All right, a little twist. Doesn't that feel wonderful? All right, keep finding spots. Let's work around your skull. Maybe you just little teeny circles. Trying to find any other spots that might need a little bit of work. Don't let me rush you. I want to spend a little time on the base of your skull in the back before we finish. All right, like right along that bony ridge at the very bottom of your skull. Let's just do a little bit of rolling across. Cross it and then over it, up and down across it that way. 
yeah, I should say along and across. Let's do the other side. Along and across. We'll go one more time up to the temples, little circles. Down along between the cheek and the jaw. I'm going to use my other hand and the other side. Okay. And the temple again. Good. Nice. All right. A little bit for your hands. And now let's put it under your foot before we move to the floor. Okay. Grip with your toes. And then gently roll along from heel to the ball of your foot, that pad right under your big toe. Okay? A few circles along, uh, roll it. Yeah, from your toes to your heel. Go across. Let me try it. Let me see what it feels like on this one. So a little bit on the heel. Yeah, just experiment. And then try to go side to side. And up by the under your toes. Alright, let's switch, switch feet. So I'm going to go first, um, grip it with your toes, just experiment with your toe strength, grip. I like the tennis ball, I can push into it a little bit more, grip around it a little better. Okay. What I like is when we start with some of this mobility work that we're going to be doing on the floor next, is the tennis ball is a great entry level softness, and then uh, especially if I've got something like my rotator cuff bothering me. And then a few days, at first, I can hardly, you know, take it. The, the tennis ball, you know, is, so, is <coughs> hurts a little bit. And then after a while, that, that's not really getting deep enough because things are healing. And I go to the, the pink balls. And then after maybe another week, it's healing more and more. I can use a firmer... Uh, blue lacrosse ball. All right, working on the heel. All right, all right. So let's uh, get rid of the chairs and we'll go down to the floor. We'll be laying on our back and we'll still be using the tennis ball. All right. What I'll have you do is lay on your back with your knees up just comfortable. And what you're going to do is, is aim so that when you lay back, the tennis ball will be up pretty high up on your shoulders, okay? All right, so you can control how much weight you're putting onto the tennis ball. And what you'll have to do is get good at moving across it and then we'll move our arm over and down. Now, if you're finding that this is just too much and it, you'll have to roll a little bit away from the ball, adjust it so that you're not putting all of your weight against it. All right. And by moving your arm, you're moving those muscles across the ball. Good. Find a new spot, maybe right below your neck, and the same thing. Keep it going. Adjust where it is. Take your time in each spot. Lots of breathing.
can also just shift your weight with your feet and move the ball lower down your spine. Okay, shift your weight. Find a spot and move your shoulder, your whole arm. Keep it going. And then adjust. All right. I'm going to switch sides and put the ball on my other side of my spine, still on the upper, sh uh, upper back, back of my shoulder, and move the arm. And it really does, if, you're, um, if your back is very tender, you've found some really tender spots, just this pressure will start getting those, those knots to loosen up. You'll do this a little bit each day, and then it won't be so tender, and it'll start to actually feel wonderful if you've, if you've got a bad knot. Maybe you don't have any knots and this just feels really good and you want more pressure, you can try another ball, a stiffer one. I'm going to scooch up to another little spot. Keep moving my arm, cross, up, and then find another spot to work on. work my way back down to the base of my neck. Experiment with how you move. You'll get better at this with the doing, like most anything. All right, extend and back down. Keep it going. All right. All that just from a little tennis ball. All right, we have a few more minutes left. I'd like you guys to um, sit with your knees up, legs in front of you. Okay, let's just pull on the back of your legs to sit nice and tall. Pull and try to lean forward right from the base of your spine. So from the side. Okay, I'm pushing forward from here. When you feel your upper back collapse, I'd like you to sit back up and just get some leverage to lengthen your spine. Real good. Reach across. Let your legs fall. Let this one fall open as you reach across. And pull. Think about lengthening the spine. Exhale and reach, and reach. Hopefully you find you'll get a little bit more range of motion after working with the tennis ball like we did. Hopefully your neck feels better, lift. Okay. And if you've been enjoying these live classes, remember there's many more great classes on movewithcassie.com along, along with movement tutorials and right now for a little bit longer if you hit the sign up button right here on the Facebook page you can still get 30 days free. Please remember to like, follow, or subscribe and join us tomorrow for stretches that feel good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be well.